Look at this pre-external long axis view. Is there anything wrong here? The four chamber view with contrast study indicates a shunt. As a significant amount of contrast bubbles pass from the right heart to the left heart. In this four chamber view, both the inner atrial septum and the interventricular septum appear intact. In four chamber view, by tilting the probe posteriorly, the coronary sinus becomes visible. The coronary sinus is the largest cardiac vein, located on the inferior and posterior aspect of the left atrium, coursing within the left atrioventricular groove. It opens into the right atrium and is often guarded by a thin semicircular endocardial fold known as a tibesian valve. This contrast study shows contrast bubbles passing into the right atrium through the coronary sinus instead of SVC. This view is characteristic of a persistent left SVC. The persistence of a left side SVC is the most common anomaly of the SVC. During embryonic development, the left brachiocephalic vein develops from anastomosis of left and right anterior cardinal veins. And caudal part of the left anterior cardinal vein usually obliterates to form the ligament of Marshall. If this part doesn't obliterate, it results in a persistent left SVC which drains into the coronary sinus. This structure located inferior and posterior to the left atrium is a dilated coronary sinus and its dilation is due to the drainage from the persistent left SVC. In this contrast study, agitated saline is seen in the coronary sinus, causing the coronary sinus to appear opaque. Now let's examine the transesophageal echocardiography, TEE view. Here, the dilated coronary sinus is located posterior and inferior to the left atrium. The most common cause of its dilation is a drainage from a persistent left SVC. In this view, a pattern from an oval is also illustrated, which is a small inner atrial septum shunt responsible for the passage of contrast bubbles from the right to the left heart. In conclusion, the coronary sinus may become dilated due to overflow that mostly is due to persistent left SVC.